Bryophytes. Bryophytes include the various mosses and liverworts that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills. Figure 3.2 Bryophytes, a liverwort, Marcantia, A, female thallus, B, male thallus mosses, C, funaria, gametophyte and sporophyte, D, sphagnum gametophyte. Bryophytes are also called amphibians of the plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction. They usually occur in damp, humid and shaded localities. They play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks, soil. The plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus-like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. They lack true roots, stem or leaves. They may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. The main plant body of the bryophyte is haploid. It produces gametes, hence is called a gametophyte. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. The male sex organ is called antheridium. They produce biflagellate antherozoids. The female sex organ called archegonium is flask-shaped and produces a single egg. The antherozoids are released into water where they come in contact with archegonium. An antherozoid fuses with the egg to produce the zygote. Zygotes do not undergo reduction division immediately. They produce a multicellular body called a sporophyte. The sporophyte is not free-living but attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division, meiosis, to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce gametophyte. Bryophytes in general are of little economic importance but some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, birds and other animals. Species of sphagnum, a moss, provide peat that have long been used as fuel and as packing material for transshipment of living material because of their capacity to hold water. Mosses along with lichens are the first organisms to colonize rocks and hence, are of great ecological importance. They decompose rocks making the substrate suitable for the growth of higher plants. Since mosses form dense mats on the soil, they reduce the impact of falling rain and prevent soil erosion. The bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses. 3.2.1 Liverworts The liverworts grow usually in moist, Shady habitats such as banks of streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark of trees and deep in the woods. The plant body of a liverwort is thalloid, for example, Marcantia. The thallus is dorsiventral and closely oppressed to the substrate. The leafy members have tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem-like structures. Asexual reproduction in liverworts takes place by fragmentation of thalli or by the formation of specialized structures called gemmi, sing, gemma. Gemmi are green, multicellular, asexual buds, which develop in small receptacles called gemma cups located on the thalli. The gemmi become detached from the parent body and germinate to form new individuals. During sexual reproduction, male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or on different thalli. The sporophyte is differentiated into a foot, Sita and capsule. After meiosis, spores are produced within the capsule. These spores germinate to form free living gametophytes. 3.2.2 Mosses The predominant stage of the life cycle of a moss is the gametophyte, which consists of two stages. The first stage is the protonmus stage, which develops directly from a spore. It is a creeping, green, branched, and frequently filamentous stage. The second stage is the leafy stage, which develops from the secondary protonma as a lateral bud. They consist of upright, slender axis bearing spirally arranged leaves. They are attached to the soil through multicellular and branched rhizoids. This stage bears the sex organs. Vegetative reproduction in mosses is by fragmentation and budding in the secondary protonma. In sexual reproduction, the sex organs antheridia and archegonia are produced at the apex of the leafy shoots. After fertilization, the zygote develops into a sporophyte, consisting of a foot, sitter and capsule. 
The sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than that in liverworts. The capsule contains spores. Spores are formed after meiosis. The mosses have an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal. Common examples of mosses are Funaria, Polytrichum and Sphagnum.